Uh, coming to the stage now, uh, your uh, your headliner, boy, he's fantastic. I can't say enough about him. He's the voice of everything. Make some noise for Pat Largo. More time for this guy right here. Tom Miguel and Steve and James and Carrie and Rick and give it up for yourselves. And... Shut up, Tom. Good night. We'll see you next time. We bet ten bucks you got herpes. <laughs> Do we just start off with a claw break? I'll take it, take it. Nice. nice. He's quiet, that means he has it. It's not shitty. I'm just kidding. No, oh, it's a jokey jokers. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna cover a lot of stuff tonight, man. So you guys are a big old fan of comedy tonight, I see, huh? Wow. Well, I'll probably change your idea about that. Give it for Paula right here. Take care of her too, by the way. She's thank you. Yeah, we uh we think she's pregnant. We don't know who the father is. So you... I was terrible, but you're laughing. So shut up. Tipping her. We're tipping her. <laughs> Tell you what, you tip me, I'll suck your dick right here. I'll suck it right. Except you, you got the hurt. Paul, I'm kidding, Paul. Rick, Rick told me to say. Are you the father, Rick? No, you're right. No, stop it. Yeah. There's not enough Viagra. Rick's like, oh, I haven't, haven't had an erection since Nixon was in office. <laughs> Jesus, can I get to my jokes? I'm just riffing with you people. Riffing is what I'm doing. Oh my God, I love it. This is awesome. You guys are a rowdy party platoon. That's all I got to say, man. So uh, I don't do really any political or religious. I'm from Pasco's. I'm not smart enough to do that shit. And that's true. I've been there almost 50 years. I'm not that smart. Because I'm doing comedy at Beef Old Brady's on the Saturday. Nobody up. Beefs, beefs. That should be the new commercial right there. You want to screw up your life? Do what I do and tell dick jokes at Beefle Brains. <laughs> and enjoy the bogo wings. I like them bone in. That's stupid. That's stupid. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys have a good time. This is, this is, all right, now here come the jokes. Oh, God. You can people like, he's this funny and handsome? Get out of you can't you have a blink once since I'm up here. I love it. Uh, no, man, yeah, I don't do much, but uh, unfortunately, recently, you know, there was a big decision made that has polarized uh, some people. And I'm talking about, of course, Rob Gronkowski retiring from the Buccaneers. I'm a Bucks fan now. Let me, where's my Bucks fans here? Bucks fans? Bucks fans. Before I get to that, where's, the, where's my Bolts? Bolts fans? Hey, what a hell of a game last night. We got what game? Uh, I know, man. Game what? Six, six coming up soon yeah. in Emily. I'm happy we got home ice. Hopefully, we won't get screwed with too many men on the ice again. Oh, Jesus, I know, right? It's weird. I'm telling you, the refs are in on Then people they laugh because I say I've been watching pro wrestling for 40 years. I'm like, the refs suck just in hockey, too. It's the same shit. <laughs> All right, so the Bucks thing, man, it, it, I, I know, man, because you know Tom and Rob, Tom and Rob, you know what I'm saying? And I can't believe Rob's up with you, and all of a sudden he's pulling out now, he's retired. But you know what? God bless him. He had a great career, what, a three or four time Super Bowl champion, whatever. But the thing is, though, all I'm talking about is my man Tom Brady, because here's what I want Tom to do I want Tom and the Buccaneers to win one more, at least one more, with Tom. Thank you. Now, let me explain my rationale. It's not that selfish, but a little bit mostly for Tom, but kind of for me. 
So I've been a Bucks fan since about 78, okay? I'm talking about, and I know, I know sucky teams, all right? We all know, if you've been that long, you know sucky teams, amen? All right. So I love my Bucks, and I want to win one more because it will give the Bucks a three-time Super Bowl champ, which I thought I would never say in my life, three-time. It would give Tom, I think, eight, right? Eight rings. He's got ten fingers, eight Super Bowl rings. I want him to win one more with the Bucks, not just for all that, because I want to see what he's going to do on Tampa Bay for a celebration this time. <laughs> Remember last time he was on the water? <laughs> he had that avocado tequila, which is the gayest shit I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> Only one man on God's green earth can drink avocado tequila without getting sucker punched, and that's Tom Brady. Dude, it was awesome. He was all tipsy, and, and, and he took the... <laughs> The Lombardi Trophy, named after the greatest football coach of all time. And even his little girl goes, Daddy, no, and he tosses it to the <laughs> He just tosses it to the next ball. Thank God Cameron Bray, our sure-handed tight end, hauls it in, and it was awesome. I want to see what he does this time. I say we up a notch. You know what? More avocado tequila. I say this time, he can do anything he wants. He's Tom Brady. No one's really going to get mad no matter what he does. I say this time he just takes a little baby. A little baby by the leg. Just take a baby. Just give it. Fuck you. Just throws it in the fucking bay. There's divers. They'll get the baby. The point is, you can always make another baby. You will never make another Tom Brady. Thank you very much. Oh. That's my only man card. My girlfriend's like, you really love him? I said, right, you don't understand. He's the most perfect creature the Lord Jesus Christ has ever made. <laughs> and he made Giselle. <laughs> Still not as hot as Tom. I saw them um, uh, uh, last summer. They were on uh, Clearwater Beach. In person doing their thing with other people and autographs. I get autographs. I'm not one of those guys. But I'm just like, I'm looking at him. And I'm like, he's even more beautiful in person. <laughs> Oh, that little chin clip. Oh, my God. I just want him to hold me. I just want him to hold me to his cousin. That's all I want. I don't want a picture. I just want to know from what. Just oh, hold me. That's <laughs> gay. That's great. <laughs> Pride parade. All right. Any hoosies. So we took care of that. Now I'm going to talk about this, man. Holy crap. I don't know if it was with COVID or not or the post-COVID dealie, but I got to tell you, man. I don't know about you. Have you been seeing worse drivers than normal? And you know, 75, 275. Because I drove in today from Newport Ritchie, and boy, is my middle finger tired. <laughs> Woo! It's, um, first off, I I'm glad my snowbird friends left. And I know it's too early for snowbird here, right? No snowbirds, I think, right? You sure? Because I did see some crappy parking yet, so I'm not sure. Okay. My guys, seriously, Grant and Nancy from Canada, they are two houses down from me where I live in Newport Ritchie. They're getting like around uh, Thanksgiving, 1st of December. They stay till April, great people. They give to charity, they, they uh, play golf, restaurants. Uh, they, he cooks a meat steak on the grill. Great people, those shittiest drivers you ever see in your life. They're horrible drivers. I always thought Snowbirds should have their own reality show, like on a and &E. like you hear, <clears throat> next week on a and &E, on the Snowbirds. <laughs> Bob and Rebecca from Nova Scotia migrate 1,800 miles due south to Lakewood Ranch, Florida with their left turn to signal out the whole way! Shut it up! Watch. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Uh, I've been, I'm 52. I've been driving since I'm 16. Uh, quick Pasco man. What is that? 30, 36 years of been driving. Never. I know. That's, dude, you don't understand how uh, in the live audience for me to do quick edition like that. I'm like, did I carry the one? What do I do? So I'm driving here, and uh, I've never had road rage in my life. Never had a road rage incident in my life. Uh, I had one a couple of months ago in my neck of the woods on uh, US 19. I know, right? The home of Live PD. Remember Live PD? Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for clapping for our felonies. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, you're a bunch of dirtbags. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't no 
now Live PD is like cops. Live PD, we were on Live PD for a couple of years. 67 counties in the great state of Florida. Which one makes Live PD my county? Isn't that lovely? It's just weekend after weekend of meth busts outside of strip clubs. Some guy named Earl, I swear to God, if I'm lying, I'm dying, I'm standing right here. Some guy named Earl got a ticket from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office because he kept driving his, his mower, his sit-down mower, wherever he wanted. And they're like, Earl, all you gotta do is engage the blade and cut some grass. He's like, look off. And they're like, well, pull over, pull over. We're gonna give you a ticket. So stupid. All right, so I'm on 19, it's a true story. I'm on 19, three lanes ago on northbound, right? It's 45 miles an hour, we're doing like 15, because there's like an obstruction about a mile and a half up, okay. I'm in the middle lane, I like that, because I like to go left to right, you know what I'm saying, like point guard, shit, something like that right there. Almost blew my, almost blew my ACLU out of that one right there. <laughs> so I'm in the middle lane, and uh, uh, we're going slow. And I look at my rear view mirror, I'm getting tailgated. Getting tailgated doing 15 miles an hour. Who does that? Liberals. Listen, no. Just want to dip my foot in. Dip it in. Want to dip it in. Ooh, it's, it's a little warm. I'll come back out. All right. Middle lane. And I'm trying to show him. I'm trying to show him, hey, we can't go. We can't, we can't do any of this. I, I'm trying to, and he gives me one of these, right? He gives me the... You know what that is? High beams. High at 15 miles an hour. And I'm trying to show them, we can't go, we can't go. I said, listen, man, I got clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, and here I am, stuck in the middle with you. There you go. If you know the song, it makes a joke even better. So, he does it again. High beams. I give you three high beams, and the game is on. Now, let me tell you something. I'm a professional driver. I used to have professional driving jobs. What I mean is this. I mean, look at professional. Glasses are always clean. My hands are a 10 and 2. My head is at a swivel. I always carry a loaded Glock 9 millimeter in my glove box. Oh. Oh. Some of you are like, oh, how many in the clip? Tell me, how many in the clip? Jesus Christ, I want to come. Did he say a 45? Is he using a 45? It's a 45! Okay. Okay. Glock 9 millimeter. Glock 9 millimeter. In the glove box, I always have a 12 pack of ice cold Bud Light in my back seat. I wear four adult undergarments when I drive. I don't stop. I, I drive, I piss, I rip, and I throw them out. I drive, I piss, I rip, I throw them out. I don't stop at red lights, stop signs, railroad crossings. School zones? Those are your kids, not mine. I don't give a shit about your kids. I got stuff to do, man. So, we're doing our thing. He does it again. Game is on now. It's number three. So, I go on the glove box. Not for the gun, not for the gun. Why wasn't it the gun? What? I go in there for my racing gloves. Put my racing gloves on. And now we're about to play. As I belled in my 2013 Hyundai Elantra. 87 horsepowers of maybe. So. We get going a little bit. We build up a little bit of speed. I do the proper thing, the New York thing. I brake check him. Oh, you brake check him. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And his stupid cowboy hat, frisbees in the front seat. His big dog. And I love dogs. Just not this prick's dog. His big gulp flies in the front. Oh, it's awesome. So I get a little space to the right. I move over. Boom. He goes by. Problem solved. But then you get that little devil on your shoulder, right? He goes, now you do it to him. You're like, yeah, let's do it to him. I get by, high beam, My high beam's like a 50 caliber machine gun. And then we both stop at the same red light together. It's a live PD moment. So he rolls his window down. Of course, I pass go up, I roll my window down. 
And he goes, uh, is there a problem, sir? I go, yeah. You drive like an asshole, deputy. <laughs> I didn't know he was a cop. <laughs>